Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfin here, coming to you live from the world headquarters of The Restaurant Boss just outside of Austin, Texas. Today is March 21st of 2023. It is a gloomy, rainy Tuesday afternoon, and I am so excited to talk to you today about the entire world of online ordering and on-demand kitchens and ghost kitchens and virtual kitchens and dark kitchens and third-party delivery and how this industry is reaching a critical phase in normal business development. This phase is called platform maturity. And what I want you to think about when you think about platform maturity is taking a business, strapping it to the tip of a rocket ship and then launching that rocket ship with your business on it going into orbit at 17,000 miles an hour. That's what happens during platform maturity. Now, platform being whatever industry you're in as it matures. So think of, let's say like the dot-com boom. If you were early on in that and you understood it, you could pick up virtual real estate, right? Dot-coms, URLs, and you could really take advantage of some things early on. You're first to market. Think of social media. If you're becoming an influencer, like on YouTube, there are people who were on YouTube 15 years ago who understood YouTube and understood cameras and could work it, who have really big channels right now. And again, I'm not saying that first to market is the only option to succeed. It's definitely not. There's latecomers to every game who do well, but there is something to say about being in a market first and understanding it before others do. So you can mature with the market. You get a natural boost as the market matures, whether you're really all that good or not, you'll get that boost just for being there as the market matures. Now, as markets get older, what happens is it gets easier for people to get involved. More people understand it. Software is developed for it. People are coaching and teaching and articles are written and it becomes easier to enter. And when a market becomes easier to enter, you get more competition. And when you have more competition, it gets harder to break through the crowd or to advertise through the crowd or to get your message heard as easily. That's what's known as platform maturity. Now, before we get deeper into today's content, where I'm gonna share with you three ways that you could get involved in at a higher level than you may already be participating, in this platform as it's maturing i'm going to share with you those three ways but i wanted to let you know that this video is brought to you by a company called on demand company or the on demand company and i really want to thank them for sponsoring this video and for making videos and content like this possible for me to bring it to you i'm going to tell you more about them and what services they offer and how they can very quickly and easily help you take advantage of this maturing market so let's jump into it today. So like I said, there's really three ways to get involved or more heavily get involved because you might already be involved in this industry. But even if you are, I think you can really learn something from this. So the first is simply just put your menu out there. Just put your menu on a third party site, DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. Look, Within a week, you can call the guys up, set up an account, send them your menu, send them your website. They're gonna grab logos and things like that and they'll have your menu up in a couple of days or in a week and you'll be getting orders through a tablet. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna go this route, this sort of really simple, easy route, you have to make sure that you're focusing on great quality pictures, you're putting an emphasis on descriptions, on search engine optimization, yes, even on their websites, you need to SEO, you need to use categories and words properly. You need to gather reviews and make sure that you're encouraging reviews and getting great reviews. A bad score will not help you at all. And then driving traffic. Yes, these websites have some of their own traffic, but you still have to drive your own traffic through social media, through advertising, through paying them for advertising to get your message at the top. See, otherwise, if you just put your menu on one of these websites and wait for orders to come in, they'll come in, but you're gonna pay these companies 20, 30% of your sales when if you just had it on your own website, you wouldn't be paying them anything. So if someone's going to a DoorDash or an Uber Eats and looking for your restaurant, you're not really winning at the game. You're actually losing at the game because if they already know you and want your food, they should just go to your website and do the order. 
you're putting yourself out there on a DoorDash or a Grubhub or uh, Uber Eats on a third party website because you're hoping to grab new traffic. People who are looking for a hamburger but not necessarily your hamburger restaurant and then find your hamburger and order from you. Right, so that's number one easiest. It's what most of us are doing. Number two, this is more of a DIY solution and there's two ways that you can do this. One is you can create all new concepts. You can go out and come up with a new logo and a new brand and some new products and put it out there. And, and that is awesome. And that's what you really should be doing in my opinion. Or even better, you should be breaking your menu into concepts. So that way you don't necessarily have to go out and get new food or new products in your restaurant. But let's say I've done this once very successfully with a client. Actually, I've done this multiple times. I don't know why I said I've done this once. I've done this like a dozen times with clients, but I'm thinking back to the first time we did this like eight or nine years ago, where we basically took their pizza restaurant that had pizza and Philly cheesesteaks and hot dogs and hamburgers. And we created a pizza concept, a Philly cheesesteak concept, a hot dog concept, um, whatever else I just said. I think a Philly cheesesteak concept, a buffalo wing concept. We created like six different concepts with six different names and six different menus, but they were all based on their existing menu. But this way takes better advantage of search engine. People are searching now for wings. They're searching for Philly cheesesteaks. They're searching for pizza. They're not searching for your restaurant as much as they are for the items. Now, this is a completely DIY solution. You're gonna do this yourself. You're gonna create the logos, create the branding, create the website that's gonna drive traffic, create the social media presences, uh, break out your menu, submit all that stuff to the companies. And, and this is a great option. It's not that hard, but it does take work for you to do this yourself. Now, if you're a busy restaurant operator and your focus is on operating your restaurants and you're maybe not that good at graphic design, you don't wanna come up with a whole new logo. You don't wanna develop all new concepts and come up with new names and figure all this stuff out. There are some really good done for you solutions out there. And there's three specifically that I'm gonna talk about here today. One is a franchise model. Think of this like buying a franchise for your existing brick and mortar restaurant. Like you wanna open up a Subway or you know one of those, you go to their franchise office, you pay them a bunch of money, they help you get it built, you pay them royalty fees, and you can use their name and sell their food, et cetera, et cetera. Well, there are companies that literally franchise ghost kitchen virtual kitchen, dark kitchen concepts, where you can literally just buy a franchise. And then what they'll do is they'll give you the rights to use their restaurant in your restaurant where you cook the food and then you sell it online. Now, again, this is kind of a done for you solution in that they already have the brand and the concept and the recipes and the training. You're still gonna have to obviously do the work of cooking the food, but you're also gonna have to do the marketing and you're gonna pay them an ongoing royalty. Another option here is a licensing model. With a licensing model, <clears throat> you basically are taking a concept similar to franchising. You're taking a concept that already exists where someone has already done the work, but they're gonna pay you to cook their food. So with the franchise model, you're gonna own your online presence. You're gonna set your restaurant up on like DoorDash, like the restaurant that you bought the franchise rights to on DoorDash and you're gonna keep all that money and obviously DoorDash is gonna keep some of it. With the licensing model, the other company will do the work, you're gonna cook the food. So they'll run the websites, they'll do some of the marketing, you just cook the food. The difference is because they're doing a lot more work, they're gonna pay you to cook the food. So maybe they'll pay you for every hamburger that you sell of theirs, they might pay you $2 or $3 or $4. I don't know, it's different with all of them to cook that burger. But then you don't have to worry about the DoorDash and you don't have to worry about the fees and you don't have to worry about the customer service or anything. So the franchise and the licensing models are basically someone else's concept that you're gonna cook the food. It's just a matter of how involved in it you wanna be. And you can just Google around and look for, there's a bunch of companies out there that do stuff like this, if you're interested in that. The third model is more of a custom model. Now, similar to what I said earlier, when I talked about taking your menu and breaking it out and coming up with all this stuff yourself, well, there's you can do that all yourself, or there are companies out there that will literally 
look at your menu and help develop new concepts and do all of the hard work for you. You'll work with them to take your existing menu, break it up, maybe come up with some new items, and then they'll get their creative team involved and work on logos and names and get it all and do all the hard bits that you don't really wanna do. And again, you'll cook the food and then there's kind of a compromise here on on how you get paid and everything else. But again, they're gonna do all of the work for you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this video is brought to you by a company called The On Demand Company. They're sponsoring today's video and I wanna tell you a little bit more about them because what I just described to you, that custom model is exactly what they do, which I think is kind of the best of both worlds where we're gonna work with your existing menu we're gonna break out those concepts into, or those menu categories into new concepts, but you don't have to do the hard work yourself. They'll do it all for you. They literally work directly with you to create fully unique, custom, ground up brands, and then help you get them online and integrated and making sales. Their customer success team will work with you to drive traffic and take care of all the SEO, and the advertising, excuse me, to these new brands. The best thing about working with the on-demand company is there's no risk, no sign-up fees, no money out of pocket. If you wanna take advantage of this platform, this maturing market, and you just don't have that desire to come up with logos and come up with brands and do all that highly technical stuff, I would highly encourage you to take a look at the on-demand company. You can learn more about them by clicking on the link in the description below or by visiting therestaurantboss.com slash on-demand. Therestaurantboss.com slash on-demand. You'll learn all about them, you'll get set up. And again, like I said, they're gonna take care of all the market research to find out of your categories, which ones are most in demand in your area. They're gonna work with you to come up with logos, they're gonna work with you to do all of the hard work that you don't necessarily wanna do, and it's no risk, no money out of pocket to you. The more successful the concept is, the more successful they are with you, so you guys are gonna work in partnership. They have every incentive to help you sell as much as possible online, and trust me when I tell you, you want to be involved in this market as it is maturing. This is absolutely the future of restaurants. Now, when I say this is the future of restaurants, I don't mean like, brick and mortar restaurants won't exist anymore in the future. They absolutely will, but this is a big part of it. I don't know about you guys and what, where you are in the world and what you're seeing, but almost all of my clients have year over year for the last three or four years seen a steady uptick in the amount of orders online, the simplicity of working with the online companies, the momentum is gathering and it's gaining. And if you wait a couple more years, you are going to be so far behind from concepts that have thousands of online reviews and five-star reviews and are in multiple cities. If you wait to get involved, you're just gonna be competing against monsters, against companies that have been doing this for years and years and years. So if you currently own and operate a restaurant and you wanna increase your sales, you wanna get involved in this online ghost kitchen model, but you've been a little confused, you're not exactly how sure how to do it, you've taken the easy route, you've put your menu online, but you know there's more to it out there, please reach out to the On Demand Company, chat with one of their awesome people over there, and let's see how they can help you get out there faster, easier, so you can do what you do, which is operate your restaurant and cook the great food, and they can do what they do, which is the marketing and the branding and all the technical bits that you don't wanna have to deal with. Again, check it out, the link below. Um, or the restaurantboss.com slash on demand. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope you go out there and absolutely crush it online as this platform is maturing. I love every single one of you crazy restaurant people. And remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value. Value creates scale. Have an amazing day, and I look forward to bringing you another great video like this soon. Bye-bye. Make It Happen is the book I wish I had when I was operating restaurants. Inside are the lessons that took me 10 years to learn and 10 more years of teaching to perfect. I've condensed the most important lessons into this tiny book for building a big restaurant business. I am on a mission to improve restaurants all over the world. Because of that, I wanna send you a free copy. Grab yours today at therestaurantboss.com.
www.thinkingmusicgroup.com. <laughs>